was famous. The bike was famous, yeah. The bike was winning. The bike would have... Would it have won the world championship? Yes, it would, of course. <laughs> They were both out there geniuses, you know, and they just clicked. The race circuits were, were to say that they were dangerous is an understatement. That the crowd in East Germany would go, Kim, 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 you know. I mean, the energy coming out of thousands of people saying that is just, makes your hair on the back of your neck stand up. <laughs> Never got over it. Yeah. Because you know, for her it was the love of her life and she's never been able to to get that relationship again from a personal perspective. Just utter carnage. You've never seen anything like it. You wouldn't ever want to see anything like it again. It was it was appalling. The greatest motorcyclists of the world have been killed in a tragic accident. It's the stories like Kim that's inspired me. And I think it's important that people realise what those guys are undertaking. They do it because of the passion and the feeling and, and the love they have for what they're doing. I thought I'd come back one day. I thought I'd see my lovely friends again. How are you? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so good to see you. Good to see you. We're really privileged that Mark's going to be able to wear his father's leathers and be riding a Koenig on a lap of honour for Kim. It's a real buzz. Just being around people going for it, you know, living life on the edge, not being ordinary. None of those guys can save their lives like that.